so um, as you can tell by the title, I am going to try to do a full face of Essence makeup. Now this is quite a challenge because they don't have like a full, it seems like a full range. They do have a lot of fun stuff to pick from. They don't like have a foundation. I looked online and they have one, but it doesn't have a very good shade selection and all of them are sold out. So um, I got just a concealer to use um, and then I am gonna just start with my brows but I think I got something that was a bit too light but we're gonna try it anyways whenever I get brows I never I always go step down because it feels like it makes them like I don't want them to be any more bolder than they already are so this is the um, make me brow eyebrow gel mascara and this is in the color soft brownie brows so that is what that looks like and it looks as if it has fibers in it so I will try it out and we'll see. Okay, so it does look a little bit light. Um, it's a little bit kind of grayish in my brows. So maybe next time I'll just get a darker shade. Um, it's not necessarily bad though. It doesn't It's not like overly sticky and it doesn't dry super fast. So I'm just kind of running this brow brush through them. Oh, I just dropped my beauty blender. Um, just running this brow comb through it. Oh, after I did that, it kind of looks pretty good actually. Kind of toned it down. So, um, we'll see the final thoughts of everything at the end. So, so now I'm just going to go in with the, as the cover stick. It's like the concealer, almost kind of like a foundation stick it seems like. You get quite a bit of product. I'm just gonna put some, can you try to warm it up on the back of my hand? Put some here under my eyes. I'm gonna put some under my brow and just on my lids because I don't have an eye primer from them. I don't, I didn't even think to pick that up, so that's totally my bad. Just everywhere. It seems like it's a pretty good shade match and it looks like it's gonna blend out not too light. Just kind of concealing with this. And I don't have any brushes from them. They do have some, but they didn't have any at the Ulta that I was at, so I didn't pick those up. Um, and they don't have like like a skin tone powder, so I just got one of their like translucent, like kind of HD powders. And um, I picked up some things that I haven't really heard about too. Like, so that we have a little bit more stuff to talk about. Not the same thing what we've already been seeing. So I'm going to set this concealer. Ooh, it kind of looks light a bit on the camera. I'm going to set this concealer with the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And I'm just going to take that with... I'm just going to take it with an e.l.f. powder brush and just kind of dust a little bit. This isn't exactly translucent, this one's... Yeah, it kind of leaves a little bit of a white cast. So, I wouldn't recommend this for like, pretty much ever. I didn't want this lid out. There are a couple things in here that I did buy that I'm like super excited about. Um, I haven't tried a lip gloss in forever. Um, and if you've been watching for a little bit, you know that I don't like a lot of lip products on my lips I'm not I'm pretty weird about that so so before I move on to eyes I'm gonna go and just do some face stuff because I don't I have only a couple things I have this essence love and sound blush it's like an ombre blush um, and then I have one of their silky touch blushes in the shade life's a cherry and then also light up your face illuminating palette real purdy purdy purdy. I'm just gonna take the bronzer contour shade with a elf um it's like one of their it's a blush brush from them. I'm just gonna kind of bronze up my face a little bit. Just a little bit kind of contour but take it a bit higher so it looks more of like a bronze. This color pretty much has no 
it's very um so you know what i would think essence would be good for is like a beginners like young girls not saying that it's like a bonnie bell kind of brand they do have some really awesome things like highlighters and stuff i'm just kind of putting this all around because it doesn't have very much payoff and it's kind of helping out that face powder that i put on now i think i'm going to take the silky touch blush and put that on i'm going to just use the same blush brush that i used Ooh, this has some payoff oh look at that so I'm going to dust my brush off and try to blend this out. It's blending out all right. It's very pinky. I think I'll just go back over it with that. This kind of clings to the skin a bit. And it's not like I have like any other products on. You know, no foundation. It's mostly powder. I'm gonna take that bronzer bronze shade that's in that face illuminating palette and kind of go over top of it. I don't know how I like this blush on bare skin. Maybe I'll go over it with this blush to see if I can help it out. We're just gonna add so much more blush. I kind of don't want to highlight because it's going to make this look nuts. Let's get a giant brush. This is not an elf. This is just a Studio M brush. I don't know. So I'm just going to take the e.l.f. Um, highlighting brush and I'm going to take the one that's a little bit, I don't know, kind of bronzy. It's not too shabby. And I'll run that. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice and subtle. Okay. So like I said, I don't have like an eye primer. So I'm going to take that concealer again and then just rub it, my finger in it and kind of pat it on the lid to help bring some life back into this look. They have quite a bit of eye products to choose from, like shadows. Because they do have really awesome shadows. So... So I did a video while, uh, like a while back, like a year ago, year maybe even longer, um, of these palettes. I bought all of the ones. I think I bought all except maybe one, but I'm not sure. I don't see why I wouldn't buy one. So I have the roses ones, the nude, um, bronze, and then vintage. And I haven't played with the vintage one very much, so I'm gonna try to dive into that a little bit today. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and take this shade from it. And place that on the lid and run it a little bit to the brow, like kind of blend it up to the brow. So there isn't very much mattes to choose from in this palette. But I'm going to take this dark green here because I really want to mess with the greens. I'm not going to go right into the brown. This could be really good or really bad. And then just kind of focus it on the outer corner and then just kind of blend it in. So that green is not looking very green. It's kind of coming off a bit gray, smoky kind of black. So maybe we'll just go over it with that light, the light green gonna add some color back to it um oh I never mentioned what brush I'm using I'm using the elf blending brush I'm just kind of building that green up because it's it 
these shadows are good and I do like them, but they, they're, they're like buildable shadows. So that's why I would say it's really good for beginners, this brand, because, I mean, it is. <laughs> so I'm going to take the light green right here, light, light green, and place this here. I'm just placing this all over the lid and then I'm going to go in with like a golder shade to see if we can make it work. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this kind of like gold, like light yellowy color. And I'm going to take like a concealer brush and just place this on the inner corner. So that was that palette. I do like it. It's all right, but I think I'm going to jazz it up just a tiny bit and I'm going to go in with this palette right here. Pretty much, I don't think Essence plays with matte because matte's hard to do. So I'm going to take this shade here and this um, 3D eyeshadow Irresistible Co Cocoa Cupcake and take the kind of dark brown and then just kind of Okay, that, that looks actually not too bad. The next thing that I'm like really, really excited about to play with is this Essence 3-in-1, 2-in-1 um, eyeliner pen. It's the quick, the thick, or the thin. So here's the thick side. It's like, looks like really markery. So here's the thick side. And then the thin side. So I think I'm gonna take the thin side. Ooh. All right, so I just did like a little bit, nothing really much, just kind of on the outer corners, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take uh, this mascara. Now, to be honest, the only thing I'm, the only reason I bought this mascara is because it's purple and I like the fat fat brush. Look at how fat this brush is. So, I'll apply this and I'll be right back. And for lips, I got a lip gloss. It's the um, Shine, Shine, Shine um, lip gloss in the shade Flirt Alert. I haven't tried a lip gloss in forever. So this one looks like a really, really pigmented one. And it's interesting doe foot. It smells very, very sweet. Like, sweet. Like candy, it tastes like candy too. I'm thinking, let's see, I'm gonna try to dab a little bit of this off. Yeah, I like it because it's kind of um, feels balmy and it's on if you just put a tiny bit on and it has color so I, I like this so I'm just gonna do my final thoughts on all the products so so far this palette is really pretty with the highlights but this cut this has no pigment on it so I don't know these eyeshadow palettes, I do like them, but you have to pair them with other products because they don't have very many mattes, but the shimmers in it are really, really pretty. So I do keep these around and I do continue to use them. You just have to pair them with another palette, which not it's not necessarily bad to me. Um, this blush, maybe I can try it again with over top of foundation and powder. Maybe it'll blend better, but it just seemed like it was really grabby to just my natural skin because I don't have anything else on other than that um, and um, the concealer I 
don't think that I will use this again. <laughs> maybe, maybe on like some spots and stuff, but um, because it wasn't like really drying or anything, it's really creamy and blends out really okay. So the mascara I will use again. I like mascara that kind of doesn't really do very much to your lashes, just kind of gives them some color, a little bit of definition, but I don't like chunky, really spidery lashes. I don't like that. I just like like kind of flirty fluffy lashes maybe. Like my I like my natural lashes to look a little bit more, not like over the top mascara. So I will do that and then add false lashes and it does really good. So I will use this again and then I really do like the lip gloss. I would wear it, wear it again. So overall um Essence is pretty good. I would recommend it for beginners or anybody that's just wanting to try makeup. Younger girls maybe. Um, I'm not trying to say that they are bad, but I think that they really do kind of target towards those because of their products are um, not like boom, bye. Overall, that was a fun video to film and I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye guys.